basically first of all in as i said in order for links to work we need to pass some attributes to the enc tags now attributes we can think of attributes as some extra information that we pass on to a tag in this case an anchor tag which is angular brackets with a in between them so attributes have a value which is known as attribute value so say for example if you want your link to go to my blog the address for which is already mentioned over here we can simply add a value add this link as a value to an attribute known as href so it goes like this so now this is actually a working link i just need to put some tag uh, put some text in between the two anchor tags and then that will actually act as a link so say for example i can say my blog so now this link is actually a working link if i click on it it will actually take me to my blog so basically you need attributes and a value to the attribute which is over here so that you can go ahead and create hyperlinks now the text over here it can be anything i wrote my blog you can even write test or you can even write your blog or whatever you want to so basically whatever you type over here that is the text that appears on your actual web page and whatever you give the value to the href attribute in the opening anchor tag just take my words carefully the attribute goes in the opening anchor tag so opening anchor tag means over here it doesn't come over here it doesn't come in the ending anchor tag so the attribute href goes in the opening anchor tag and the attribute value is given by putting in an equal to sign and then putting the actual value the actual link where you want your user to re get redirected to within double quotes if it is not in double quotes it won't work so make sure it is in double code otherwise it simply won't work so that is how you can add links to your blog now there's more to it we will see how it actually works so we will continue in our next video